Well, look at what I have here. It's the new Sigma Art Series. This is the 135 millimeter 1.8, F 1.8. Of course, if this video helps you, don't forget to hit us up with a like button underneath and subscribe to the channel. And if you're ever in the Miami area, come by and say hello at the Digital Gojo Show. All right, so let's take a look at what's in here. Like I said before, this is a lens that's top secret, so it's covered up for serial numbers and everything, but first of all, there you get the beautiful strap. Wow, that's not what we want to look at, but you do get that. And of course, it is a Sigma USA product, so it does come with the manufacturer's warranty from Sigma USA in the US, and if it's purchased from an authorized dealer like Digital Goja, and your instruction pamphlet. And it comes, of course, like all the art series lenses with a beautiful carrying pouch, so you take it with you everywhere and it's well protected. Here is the lens itself. Wow, what a beauty. And of course, a proprietary lens hood, like all their art series. Yeah, this is a sight to behold. All right, and let's see how this beautiful lens attaches to a full frame camera, of course. It will work with a crop sensor, but remember, it's meant for full frame, and there you have it. Now, of course, this is a perfect portrait lens if you're working with a full frame format, because remember, this is an EF mount, so that means it's meant for your full frame DSLRs. But guess what? You can also work with it on an APS-C model, and now you have a 216 millimeter equivalent in focal length, but you still have that fantastic constant f 1.8 aperture you have nine rounded blade diaphragm which gives you a pleasing and beautiful bokeh and you can stop down to f16 if you don't want to deal with the constant 1.8 aperture you have two fld elements two sld elements super multi-layer coating all that means is that we are getting again yet another fantastic sigma art lens it's made out of that popular tsc material from them and notice how it has a brass bayonet mount with full weather seating. So that means that any environment you throw at this, it will be able to maintain beautiful quality images. It does have, of course, their hypersonic autofocus motor and override for manual and autofocus. But remember, you have full-time manual focus on here. And notice how they gave you a nice large focusing ring that makes it really simple to work with. You also have a focus limiter if you want to do that on full autofocus. You can do that also on the side here with this lever. Compatible with their Sigma USB dock because again, this is another one of their global series lenses. So it is meant for their global vision and it is a fantastic vision. I mean, again, this lens is ultra sharp and very pleasing as far as the bokeh. It's an 82 millimeter thread size. So it's a little bit smaller than their previously released 85 1.4, which is an 86 millimeter thread. This guy weighs about two and a half pounds and is 3.6 by 4.2 inches. Compared to the 85 millimeter, which is 3.73 by 4.97 inches. I don't have the actual weight of the 85 millimeter on hand, but it is a slightly bit heavier than this. But again, if you are in the market for a nice telephoto for your Canon EF, and of course it will be available for Nikon full frame lenses also, take a much closer look at this new Sigma Art 135 f1.8 DG lens. Well, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If it did, Remember to hit me up with a like button underneath and subscribe to our channel for future tutorials, frequently asked questions, and unboxings. And don't forget, if you're ever in Miami, come say hello at Digital Goja Showrooms. Happy shooting.